Microservices, really hot topic. Um, you know, Netflix does microservices, Google does microservices, all these really huge companies that have enormous user bases do microservices. And unfortunately, in the tech world, that means that everybody thinks they have to do microservices. And then when they hear the word, they think, oh, they read a, a short brief on what it means and they start building code. Uh, and they tend to end up in a bit of a mess. Every single time we see somebody adopting microservices without having a really good strategy in place, we find that they get themselves into a, in, into a, into a, into a mess, a kerfuffle. And when they come to us, they say, oh, we're building microservices, we've done this, how can you help us? And yeah, we can. I mean, Tyke has was built to work with microservices to be able to handle millions of transactions across multiple endpoints. Um, you know, this was all before Kubernetes came along and things like that. And we work very, very well in those ecosystems where, you know, Tyke is a really good uh, piece of kit to put into your microservice first Kubernetes ecosystem and run your API management all using Kubernetes operators and our Kubernetes operator and CRDs. Now, the thing is, with microservices, is as I said, most people get it wrong. And the, I guess, predominant opinion these days is actually say, well, microservice might be too far. Most companies probably just need, and I hate the word, well-sized services. I don't, don't ask me why they call it, but you know, essentially saying, well, maybe we should just have smaller applications that do specific tasks, as opposed to tiny, tiny services that do one thing only. And these, um, this attitude is actually very sensible, in my opinion, but then it sort of gets rid of the buzzword. And I think you need to move beyond the buzzword to actually getting the job done and being pragmatic about it. And there are people that say, oh no, there's, there's the right architecture and there's the wrong architecture. In software, there is no such thing. In software, especially if you are a fast growing business or you are trying to get to market quickly, shipping is what matters. You need to get it out the door and you need to get it out the door with the, as little technical debt as possible. Um, and microservices might actually hinder you on your way to get there. So there are, there are pros and cons to it. We will help you do your microservices stack. Whether you should do that is a different story.